Hey, this is Mr. Ring. I want to show you guys how to do quiz and test corrections. We're going to be utilizing my uh, website, mrmathing.net. So when you get back a quiz or a test, if you got full points, full credit, you just write the word correct on the right-hand side. If you got the problem incorrect or wrong, for a multiple choice question, I want you to write the correct answer. And then I also want you to write a complete sentence of the mistake or your misunderstanding. On the back side, for any free response question where you have to show your work, uh, if you got that wrong, you didn't get full credit, you missed a point, or you missed all the points, or you left it blank, write a complete sentence of your mistake or misunderstanding, and then I want you to redo the whole problem. So how do you get there? Just go to my website, mrmathing.net. And then over here on the left-hand side, you're going to scroll to the topic. For example, it might be Math 4. Pre-calc, math five, math three, complete the stats. And then you're gonna go ahead and find look at your, your quiz or test you just got back and look at the very top. It has a title there. And the easy way is just look for the date. And sometimes you might have to scroll down on here. Uh, so you're scrolling, you can just click on the video you need. And then there you see what you might need. So you needed this quiz to grade. And there you get to see all the answers. So if you got those right, you could just fast forward. Right? You're just kind of looking at this as an answer key or solutions. That's to say you didn't know how to multiply r minus 7 times r plus 2. Then you can just watch it. And if you miss a step, you can always rewind it or fast forward it. You can always make it go slower, or you can go make it go faster, or you can even skip ahead to a problem. For example, how to distribute those. And if you want to retry it again, you can just go to any problem. Say uh, which of the following represents a polynomial in standard form, so you can write down all of those, work it out yourself, and then press play and listen to me. All right, so now that you've gotten your quiz back, uh, you have this uh, space on the side there, and it says keep this space blank. This is for quiz or test corrections. So obviously when you see a problem, it tells you how many points it's out of and how many you're awarded. So you can just write over here, correct. But if you miss a problem like this student did, there's an X by the work, then you watch the video, okay? And uh, not only I want you to redo the problem, so negative six, square root of seven. You can break that down to negative six times seven times 21. 6, 7, 7 times 3, pull out the 7s, uh, negative 42 radical 3. So the student circled a pair of 7s, they left a 3 there. <coughs> uh, they did multiply, but they forgot that a positive times a negative. So write a sentence of why you got it wrong. Positive times, so you're writing a sentence times a negative is a negative. And let's just say you go to a free response question. Maybe if you left it blank, you can just redo the problem there in the space. Or you can also look for maybe parts that you got wrong. So this student got two points out of four. And then maybe write to yourself uh, negative 2 times uh, to the third power is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So positive times negative is negative, negative times negative. Or negative times negative is a positive, positive times negative, so that should be negative 8. Uh, but the student didn't realize that you don't distribute the negative there. I think that's what they were trying to do. So maybe write, pay attention.
to writing down the problem correctly. And then the student should go ahead and actually redo the whole problem again. Do it on the side over here. So 5, color 5, minus the uh, 2 to the third power is 8 minus 6. So I'm just watching the video from this. And then uh, 5 minus 2 squared. So that's not negative 2 squared, because if it was, it would be in parentheses. So it's just 2 squared, and you subtract it. So that's 4, and 5 minus uh, 2 over 1, and 5 minus 2 is 3. My equal signs, these are equivalent, and that expression is equal to 3. So in summary, your quiz and test corrections, you are either writing the word uh, correct, uh, you're also redoing, if you got it wrong, you're redoing the whole problem if you missed any of the points and you're writing a sentence explaining of what you did wrong. Hope this was helpful.